I got some quick news for you. I just sold my first customized guitar overseas. Just remembering you that this is Poland. We are here and uh, I sold my guitar. Uh, it was shipped to New York. It's pretty cool. I want to talk a little about it and about future project and future guitar that I would buy in this video. Let's go. So, hello. This guitar, of course, was my Harley Benton Fusion 3 that uh, was uh, customized by me, by my hands. I drew on it by the Posca markers. I drew some sketch, like comic sketch. Uh, you can find the videos about this guitar on this channel. I reviewed it, I played on it, you can check the sounds. Uh, everybody knows about Harley Benton these days, so you can check many, many reviews in the internet and you can check this channel too. Uh, this guitar was very good. I used it about uh, one year and a half, maybe two years. I can tell you after the two years of the using and playing, I can tell that uh, Harley Benton is a pretty good guitar. You can see it in other opinions and I can say that these people don't lie to you. I think that higher models of Harley Benton's uh, are pretty, pretty decent guitars. <laughs> So, story is not about it. I just wanted to continue my journey to make some new projects with guitars and I thought maybe I can sell this. I sell and earn some money because it's not just regular guitar, this, this is customized guitar, so maybe I can earn something. I just wanted to make some experiment. How much can I earn? Um, how quickly can I sell this? Uh, can I sell this? Can I even sell this? Or oh, maybe this is will last forever. So I made a listing on Reverb.com and waited about one month. And then new owner of this guitar, uh, future owner at that time, bought it. Uh, and uh, I needed to ship this overseas first time. And uh, quite strange thing, because for many of you, maybe for everybody, it's very common thing. You have FedEx, UPS, something like this, big companies that ship uh, your packages, your guitars, your goods. Maybe you selling online, maybe you have some shops. Uh, and this is pretty common thing for you. You can take your package, you can uh, call or maybe just do some clicks. A courier will come to your place, take the package, and after five days, uh, after a couple of days, this package will be in the other country, in the other continent. But for me, it was so huge. It was for me like I'm flying to the moon and back, or maybe like I'm seeing a unicorn or something doing at first time. It was so, so huge event for me, because for, I'm not a native Polish guy, I'm living, now I'm living in Poland, but I am from Belarus, I am just escaped my country because of war, because of political crisis, something like this. This channel is not about this, but just mentioning that I am from different world. And when I see those services, I see the global world, I see some, I see how people can connect each other with uh, with no problems, with uh, easy of use, easy applications, easy services, and this so huge and so fucking awesome. If you are a guy who lives in the United States, Europe, or some places uh, like this, and you can afford everything from your childhood, just remember that there are many, many countries and many, many places and many, many people who can't do this at all. And they are just dreaming about it. Oh, maybe I can sell something for the different country. Maybe I can send my package with not on the 
in horses like in the 19th century, not for on the fuck I don't know old planes uh, for the fuck companies that take uh, double amount of price because uh, this is disaster for us in those countries to sell something to the European Union or overseas. Uh, you even don't think about it. There is no such opportunity for you. Now I'm here just selling my guitar to the different end of the world. Not end, of course. It's maybe beginning of the world or maybe center of the world to the United States. And uh, long story short, after the five days, my guitar just shipped to the new owner, to the New York, to the Brooklyn, and everything is okay. It was scary that it can be damaged, it can crack maybe someone, so I bought a very, very big piece of the bubble wrap. I bought a big, big uh, foam, uh, foam pieces, I bought the gig bag, and I shipped this. And now I have some money and I need to buy some guitar. And uh, I got a little short list at first, about six guitars, six brands in this short list. And after small research of the used uh, market of the guitars, I had just a three. I had Jackson Randy Rhodes RR3, made in Japan. I got some Charles, uh, maybe Model 3, Model 4, Model 375 uh, and 475. These guitars um, are pricey nowadays. Uh, they are from 80s now and they are pretty collectible so price uh, was a little bit high for me uh, the last one was Ibanez I wanted to buy it for my birthday but I haven't got the opportunity I haven't got the money at first and uh, the second I haven't got the real guitar now I checked the used market and I found RG565 uh, Genesis collection it's a reissued guitar and I want it so bad I made some voting, I sent my friends my shortlist and they vote, every, everybody voted for one guitar. And this Ibanez won. So I decided to buy this Ibanez, but the owner of the guitar, uh, we have no connection, uh, he spoke to me very slowly, he didn't respond, he didn't want to make some price drop for me, so I was a little bit disappointed and I need to find something fast and something like this, like that Ibanez. So I, th I thought about it, I thought that uh, Genesis collection has two guitars, 565 and 550, so 550 is pretty good guitar too. I didn't like uh, HSH uh, very much, but it's super cool guitar. It has three colors and I like the most uh, purple neon one. So I found a couple guitars on the used market. I, uh, I write to every owner and I've got connection with one. He's a pretty good guy. He gave me a pretty good discount and uh, this guitar was upgraded. He he has some uh, new pickups and new electronics. It was in pretty good condition, but uh, this uh, listing has very, very bad photos. So that uh, listing was on the market, it was about six months, six months old, or maybe even a year, and nobody bought it because of very, very poor uh, pictures. But uh, the owner sent me new one and this guitar was very, it was pretty good. So I decided to buy it and let's see this beauty. So as you see this beast is very beautiful. This guitar has Fishman pickups and electronics and also it has a dedicated uh, battery system and you can charge it every time without changing the batteries it plays great and i'll show you this in the next videos so please hit the bell subscribe to this channel and write your comments below this video thank you bye bye